Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pastaya Bhutale Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namane Namaste Saraswati Deve Guravani Pacharani Nervase Shunyavani Paskacha Desatani Jaya Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Adwait Gadadha Sivasadi Go Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 I'm going to speak from the seventh canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, 28th verse. Everyone seeks happiness. That is our nature. But be, to be successful in our search, we require some knowledge. If we start out from a wrong premise, everything that follows will be wrong. It is, it's just like in mathematics. If you make a mistake in the first line, there's sure to be a mistake in the answer. What is that knowledge we require in order to be successful? We must know who we are. The materialist identifies himself as this body. I'm American, I'm Indian, I'm this, I'm that, but it's all this body. No matter how diligently he searches for happiness, he will always be unsuccessful because the nature of this body is birth, old age, disease, and death. Because the body is material and he searches for happiness in material things, he can never be successful because he is spirit soul. Rather, he suffers one misery after another. The nature of the body is to suffer. Birth is suffering. Old age is suffering. Disease is suffering. And death is suffering. For the spirit soul, there is no, never any suffering. He is on the transcendental platform of eternity, knowledge, and bliss. One who is living on that spiritual platform of devotional service never experiences misery in any material condition. Even if something which under material circumstances would be considered inauspicious or unpleasant or suffering, it is not suffering for the devotee because he knows that it is Krishna's mercy. A devotee knows that Krishna does everything perfectly. And he, he does everything. There is nothing that is done without the sanction of Krishna. Therefore, a devotee who is surrendered to Krishna's will, to Krishna's plan, says, thank you, Krishna, for now as it is. How do I use now as it is in the best way for your service and pleasure, Lord? He is always on the platform of sat ananda eternity, knowledge, and bliss. But the devotee who identifies himself with the material body, he's always in a world of duality, good and bad, pleasure and pain, success and failure. Krishna has a very intimate relationship, loving relationship, with every living being. In Bhagavad Gita, he claims, I am the seed-giving father of every living being. The father never does what is bad for his child. Krishna never does anything but what is the best of all possibilities for every living entity. Of course, most people would object. A lot of things happen to me, they would say, that I don't like, that are very unpleasant. How can you say this is Krishna's mercy? How can you say all these bad things are the best of all possibilities? It goes back to what we said at the beginning. If you make a wrong assumption at the beginning, everything that follows will be wrong because most people assume that they are this body. 
they naturally suffer the pains and pleasures of the body, which are always in duality. They are never on the spiritual platform of Sat Chitananda. As we said, everyone has an intimate loving relationship to Krishna, but that intimate loving relationship to Krishna can only be realized in proportion to our surrender. That's what Krishna says in the Gita. In the same measure that one surrenders to me, I reciprocate with them accordingly. This misconception, thinking oneself to be in the material body, continues until one surrenders to Krishna and says, Krishna, I am yours. I am your part and parcel. I am meant for serving you. In that surrendered condition, he experiences only the loving mercy of Krishna and is always unlimitedly happy. Not just when things go nicely for the material senses, but all the time. He says, thank you, Krishna, for now as it is. But he doesn't just say, thank you, Krishna, for now as it is, and sit down and do nothing. He asks the Lord, how do I use now as it is in the best way for your service and pleasure? Everyone accepts now as it is. You have no choice. But you have a choice how you use it. The karmi tries to use it for his sense gratification. And therefore, he's always in a world of duality. Pleasure and pain, success and failure. He is always troubled by the disturbances of the material body. Too hot, too cold, too this, too that. It's all the material body. As long as we identify ourselves with the material body, we must suffer. It is only when we surrender to Krishna and it admit and realize our intimate loving relationship with Krishna and say, Krishna, how can I use now as it is in the best way for your service? And there's one more thing necessary for, uh, for realizing that pure happiness. We must then say, Krishna, I am willing, willing to do whatever you want. I'm confident you have a perfect plan and I'll be patient to understand and persevere. The happiness sought by a karmi, a materialist, is always maya, illusion. It can never satisfy. But the happiness of a devotee is real. It is spiritual. Devotional service to Krishna is eternal. And it will allow us to see the smiling face of Krishna, who will say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. Thank you very much. What is your question? You tell us that uh, Krishna is our loving father, but then he has, created a, he has created a material prison for us. He's giving us so much of problems. How can a material father who uh, uh, is always doing the best for his child and here our spiritual father is giving us so much of problems? Because you have desired it. He is simply fulfilling your desire. You have desired to have a world separate from Krishna where you are the enjoyer. You're the center of existence. That is of necessity the material world. It is simply your desire that has created this. Thank you very much.